If your libido has lost its fire, you probably want to know about the drug that improves sexual desire. What is up, sapiosexuals? Thank you for turning on Sex in South Beach with your girl, Dr. Sanjaya, America's favorite sex educator who answers all the sex questions you never even asked. So the sex situation we're getting into today is all about Addy, the drug that treats low sexual desire in ladies. And while I know all the men out there are amazingly talented lovers, ooh, y'all do it so good. <laughs> Guess what? Hypoactive sexual desire disorder, you know, that's the clinical term for, uh, not wanting sex. Well, hypoactive sexual desire disorder is one of the most common sex problems in the world. Yes, indeed, there are so many women who just don't want to have sex anymore. The irony is that most of these women enjoy sex once they're doing it, but they're not motivated to do it because they don't feel desire. Now, this is very different from erectile dysfunction, the most common sex problem in men. Many men who feel desire still have issues becoming or staying erect. That's why Viagra was approved by the FDA in 1998 to help men get hard whenever they have the desire to have sex. Unlike Viagra and the other erectile dysfunction drugs, Addy was created to help women want sex. Approved by the FDA in 2015, y'all, that is 17 years after Viagra was approved. Addy is now the most prescribed drug to treat hypoactive sexual desire disorder in premenopausal women. And even though the Addy label states that it is not for use in postmenopausal women, studies actually show that Addy is effective on women who have already gone through menopause. Actually, the medicine in Addy is called phlebanserin, and there's a lot of studies on how this drug impacts sexual desire in women. But there were fewer studies on postmenopausal women, and I'm not sure exactly why but maybe because postmenopausal women are often prescribed a wide range of treatments, which makes it difficult to conduct a rigorous controlled study and evaluate the effects of only phlebanserin. If you're taking lots of stuff and your sexual desire does improve, you're probably not going to be sure why you want more sex. Is it that estrogen patch? Or is it the Addy? Or maybe it's that hot new neighbor who just moved in down the street. <laughs> so how do you know if Addy's right for you? Well. As always, the first thing you need to do is discuss your sex problems and options with your doctor, especially because you're going to need them to prescribe it, and your doctor's J-O-B is to help you figure out if Addy is the right treatment for you. Now, if you have never had sexual desire, Addy is probably not right for you because it was developed to help women who used to want sex but don't want it anymore. Also, Addy was made for women who are not dealing with other health issues that impact sexual desire. For example, Survivors of breast and ovarian cancer may have symptoms of low sexual desire, but it's due to the physiological changes that occur when someone overcomes cancer. And unlike Viagra, Addy works on your sexual brain, not your body. In other words, it does not treat sexual functioning issues. Whereas Viagra helps men become erect, Addy doesn't do anything like that for women. Mm -mm -mm. Addy does not help with lubrication or ease pain experienced during sex. Addy does not treat your thinning vaginal walls that occur in many women as they age. Simply put, Addy was not created to improve sexual functioning in women. It was made to improve sexual desire. The bonus is that when a woman does feel sexual desire, her body usually responds accordingly, resulting in more lubrication and other physical responses that enhance sexual experiences. And you know what? Low sexual desire doesn't bother every woman. Some women have low sexual desire, but they just don't care. They are simply not concerned about it. But others with low sexual desire are super stressed out about it. Addy was made for the women who are super stressed out because they no longer experience a desire for sex. And studies show that it does a pretty good job at increasing desire among those women. In the clinical trials that included thousands of women, half were randomized to receive Addy and the other half received a placebo. At the end of the trial, women in the Addy group reported significantly more sexual desire, increased participation in sexual activities such as sex, oral sex, masturbation, and you know what's best? They were less stressed out about sex. Booyah! 
But those results are reported in the scientific data, which is based on the research studies required to get any drug approved by the FDA. But now that the drug is approved and widely available, it's super important to know how real women who have used Addy feel. Does it really work? Did they experience a noticeable increase in their sex drive? Well, some did and some did not. One user said, I took Addy a few years ago and had no problems, but it didn't help my sex drive either. Recently, I thought I would try it again. The two times I took the pill, I had severe vomiting the night I took it. I will discontinue. Parentheses. I had three glasses of wine four hours before taking it. Um, guess what? An important precaution with Addy is you are not supposed to combine it with alcohol. In fact, the instructions for Addy specifically state that if you have had three or more servings of alcohol, you need to skip your Addy dose. Another user said, This did absolutely nothing for me. I had it for two months and all it did was make me sleepy. It should be a sleeping pill. <laughs> In fact, there are so many negative reviews of Addy, it is clear that the drug does not work for everybody. However, there is also an equally impressive number of positive reviews for Addy. For example, one woman said, Addy has given me my libido completely. My sweet husband has been so patient with me for years now. I dreaded his advances. I can't tell you how wonderful it is to want and desire intimacy again. It's absolutely the best thing ever. Thank you, Addie, and my husband thanks you. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Another user exclaimed, I can't imagine life without Addie. I forgot what a libido felt like until I started taking Addie. I love my husband and literally dreaded having sex. I only wish I found this sooner. I have had no issues since taking it, and I'm on my third month. My biggest fear is becoming immune to it. Kudos to you, Addie, for giving us women our sex life back. <laughs> I like that one, too. Similarly, another woman stated, I was a huge skeptic, but my lack of libido was threatening my marriage. I love my husband enough to give it a go. Within three weeks, I was astonished. I forgot, literally, I forgot what it felt like to get horny and only started to remember after Addie. Despite loving my husband, I dreaded sex. This medication works. I am now convinced I had hypoactive sexual desire. But now I enjoy it again and feel the desire that was so lacking. I am a big fan of this medication. I highly recommend it. It's worth a shot if it works as well for you as it's working for me. So there you have it. Addy works wonders for some women and does nothing at all for others. But before considering Addy, it's also smart to understand some of the possible side effects that bother users. Insomnia, headaches, Dizziness and feeling lightheaded or sleepy while awake are some of the most frequently reported side effects. And don't forget that alcohol use needs to be monitored closely if you're taking Addy. The warning label specifically states, wait at least two hours after drinking one or two standard alcoholic drinks before taking Addy at bedtime. If you do drink three or more standard alcoholic drinks in the evening, skip your Addy dose at bedtime. And after you have taken your Addy at bedtime, do not drink alcohol until the following day. Woo! That was a lot about Addy. I think I need a drink. <laughs> all right, all right now. It is time for the climax when I give you a little something, something to remember about Addy. One, Addy is the most frequently prescribed drug to treat premenopausal women for hypoactive sexual desire disorder, also known as low libido. You know, she don't want to do it no more. Mm. Two, Addy was created to stimulate and prove sexual desire, not sexual functioning. Three, Addy and alcohol are probably not such a healthy combo, and your drinking behaviors definitely need to be disclosed to your doctor before trying Addy. Four, Addy works wonders for some women, but does not improve sex drive for others. And five, talk to your doctor. Go ahead, girl, make them work. <laughs> now you know what you gotta do right now. Scroll those sexy fingers right down to the review section of this show and leave some empowering words to encourage other people to tune in so we can help more people have more amazing orgasms, which will lead to more happy people in your life. And what could be better than a world filled with happy, sexually satisfied people? 
For your daily dose of Nookie knowledge, check me out on all the social media networks. That's D-R-S-O-N-J-I-A, Dr. Sanjaya, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Come on, baby. You know I'm looking to link up with you. Y'all, I had so much fun chatting you up about Addie today, and I cannot wait to do it again next time. I'm Dr. Sanjaya, America's sex educator. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sex in South Beach, where everyone comes for happier, healthier sex. Twenty twenty one is all about vaccinate and vacay. I just got back from the best girls trip in Puerto Rico, and thank goodness I brought Sense Aromatherapy body oil with me because there were so many mosquitoes, and I was the only girl who did not get bit, not even once. Whenever I wear Sense Aromatherapy body oil, bugs will not come near me, but everyone else is trying to hug me. That's because the aromatherapy is so powerful; it stimulates feelings of pleasure and everyone who smells me, which makes them want to get close to me. Except mosquitoes, which is just fine with me, because y'all already know being eaten should feel good. <laughs> Smell good, feel good with Sense Aromatherapy Body Oil. Get yours today on Amazon or SenseBodyOil.com. That's S-E-N-S-E BodyOil.com.